Did you know that you can perform Atex Desira IEC 60079 inspections using B Mobile technology? Hi, my name is Michael and welcome to BMEX channel. We're not only making videos about the better way to calibrate, but we also show you how to perform maintenance inspections. Browse our channel for more information about maintenance inspections. And of course, always please bear in mind the zones and divisions that you're working in and use appropriate equipment. In order to start performing ATEC inspections or the zero tests, you have to have BMEX CMX calibration management software installed. That is the hub. It is where things start from. You create positions that require inspection set up all the details for instance how often you want to perform the check how many questions you ask uh, what is the serial number of the device and manufacturer all that kind of details then you transfer it over from cmx to a tablet or a mobile phone like this and go and perform an inspection so let me show you how it's done here on this particular b mobile application on this phone what I've done, I've downloaded for free from the Google Play Store. You can also do it from Microsoft Store or Microsoft devices. And what I've done is I selected the demo mode. So you can do it as well. You can select demo mode. You can sort of, without any commitments, just check it out and test it for you. There is obviously one checklist on the demo mode just to show you how it works. So I click on the checklist. And what I'm seeing is that I've got 32 items on my checklist to do. Now I can click on the details as well and you can see the position, details, device, function, how often do we do that so I can scroll through this and have a look. Let's click on there. I could also hit start and when I do that I can see the amount of questions so I can see I'm on the question number one out of 32 and these questions are going to be from that IEC 60079 table 2. So all of those questions are actually relevant. Probably if you're familiar with inspections and ATEX inspections, you will be familiar with those questions as well. Now, first question is about circuit equipment, documentation, etc. I'll say it's pass. Okay. Question number two is about equipment installed. So I can inspect this and see, okay, is the equipment installed and specified as in specified documentation? I would say yes, we've checked the documentation before. Question number three is about circuit and equipment. Um, is it the right category group? I would say it is, that's fine. IP rating, we've checked that before, it's intact, so we say pass as well. Temperature class is correct, yes. Ambient temperature range is correct, yes. We keep going through the questions that we know um, the answer to. Now, Installation is clearly labeled. This is one of the questions we need to ask and check right now when we get to the item itself. And looking at the item, well, I don't see any labels on it anywhere. Therefore, I'm going to say fail. As soon as I click fail, I have to put a note. It's optional. You don't have to. You can set it up in CMX. We, at the moment, have set it up, so we have to put a note. So I'll put a note. Um, no label. So when I do that, I've failed that question. So now I'm moving on to the next question. What happens if one of the questions is actually not relevant to your test? Well, you can skip it. So what happens if I skip? You can also require within CMX software that any questions that are skipped are also requiring a note. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to say that maybe the gasket is not there. Okay, and I'm okaying this, skipping that particular question. And so on and so forth. We've got 32 questions to go through. Let me just skim through them pretty quickly. Now we're on the question 19 out of 32. And if we want to go back to question 10 or question third, how do we do this? Well. You can click on that little menu and it actually brings up all the questions so I can quickly scroll through them. I can see where I am right now. So I'm on B2 installation question. I've got that many to finish, 
but I can right now go back to A3 and see if, you know, if I want to change something or maybe I want to redo that question, maybe I want to rethink about it again so I can still do that. Until I save it, I can still change and add some more notes. So let's go back to question number 19 and let's carry on our checks. Okay, we're right now at the end of the checklist. We completed those 32 questions. We can see that there is no more open, there is 30 passed, there is one failed and one skipped. We can right now add information about environment, conditions. We can also choose who did the calibration. So if that was me, I would highlight myself. And at the very bottom, I could now decide whether this inspection is a pass overall or fail overall. I'm going to choose pass. I right now save this inspection in the B Mobile app. So now it's safely stored here. What do I have to do to get the inspection certificate? I have to right now transfer it from here to my BMX CMX calibration software. There you go. This is how you do ATEX Desira um, 60079IC inspections. Anything that you think requires answering and asking questions and you need to safely store it, consider using B Mobile application and BMX CMX calibration management software. Thank you so much for watching.